Say go away. Leave us alone. You can't come in.
forgetful as she was, the dear old thing. What was it this time? Disinfectant in her iced tea? She couldn't read the labels. It was an easy mistake for an old woman to make. And you answering the phone, telling her to wait until you got there. Mother's distraught about Ruby, you said. I'll go calm her down. What? And you drove the car down the street. I remember thinking, that was strange. By the time you got it out of the garage, you could have run. But you needed to put something in the boot when you got there. Why do you do this? And so you drove past the flame trees, blackened by the night, and reversed into her car garage at the end of the cul-de-sac, through the back door to find Ruby lying in a pool of blood and vomit, not moving, not breathing, no pulse. Grandma Moon was fussing about in the pantry, trying to read the labels. Her frantic falsetto ringing out, What have I done? What have I done? Stop this right now. And you said how for a bucket and a bottle while you wrapped our little girl up in a big black garbage bag with a drawstring pulled tight. You turned off the outside light. You were thinking of everything. And as you shut the boot, you sent your mother off to bed with extra pills to send her off to sleep. The other side of which you'd wake without memory. Senility suddenly your ally. You could depend on it. And you called me from her phone before cleaning the blood off the floor and running home. I was too distracted to notice that you left with the car and returned without it. I decided to door knock on the way back to see if anyone had seen anything. Nothing to see. You thought of everything. <sighs> Tell me when you picked up the car the next day, Ray. Where did you dump that garbage bag? There was no garbage bag. What did you wrap her in then? A rug? A bedspread? There was no body. She never arrived. You never thought I'd figure it out, Ray, did you? You never thought I'd even think it was you, let alone work it out. You want to play this game, Sylvie? Who's to say you weren't the last one to see Ruby, apart from a few highly unreliable witnesses? What's to say that Ruby never even set off to visit her grandma's because you'd already... What, Ray? What? What was it you were so busy with? Why was there no dinner on the table? I told you, Dulcie was in a state about her missing parrot. There was no parrot. She made it up. You made it up. That's not how this goes, Ray. You made her up. Don't you dare pull it all down! Dulcie Dorley is nothing more than the sum total of every pious judgmental thought you've ever had. The game goes in. Kumbaya, my lord! Dulcie is nothing more than an old spinster who takes refuge in the church. And look what you made her into. She's a witch. Far better rendition than any of your hollow incarnations. Hollow? In a world shut down, one man will stand alone <laughs> to fight for freedom. You and your crippled man. The crying bird. What do you say, Ray? Once more with feeling? Um, um, people don't like clowns anymore. People don't like whip fools. I'm not the one shoving painkillers down my throat. Only to escape your gallery of madmen. Dear lady, it's the black hole. It's ravenous. God made the seas, God made the lakes, God made me. Well, we all make mistakes. Too far. Well, what about the gallows boy? We made him up. We had to. Was she really taken from us? You know she was. Or are we just having the same nightmare? Well, we can't sleep. We know. What do we know, Ray? Tell me what we know. We know that once upon a time there was a little girl called Ruby Moon. Past tense. We know that she set off to visit her grandma's at the end of the street, but never arrived. Our little Ruby. Our gem. We can't keep doing this to ourselves every night, Sylvie. We can't keep riding into this tunnel. This is our train wreck. But it's, we're going the wrong way. All we can see is what's already past. But the light's back there, right? It's back where we came from. We can't keep blaming ourselves, or even those around us.
It's so, it's so obvious. What if, what if it was a stranger? Do you know her? It's so obvious. Tell me, where her? Have we thought of him though? I remember now. I saw the sign photo of Veronica inside the van as we drove past. Yes, Ray, yes, it's him. We've got to call Detective Holloway. We will be first thing in the morning. Flame Tree Grove was still like a painting. Blackbirds on the wire, on the verge of fainting. As the horizon burned and the flames leaped higher and higher, a little angel turned down the corridor of fire. Don't let it end like that, Ray. It can't end like that. Doing everything, he was programmed, he was just off. But, like, <laughs> it turns out he's like an after tech 
kept and a really good woodwork. And there was all these things that we had to fix and make the window and the fence and what have you. And I'd go down to the and chip with him and, and we'd be like, oh, we've got to fix this thing. And he'd just go, oh, well, I, you know, you do this and this and this. I'm like, oh my God, you're a wizard. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 